How to take a compass reading. Ye old compass. How to use this. Now, it's actually really straightforward, and I find that my students do pretty good job at this. They get it pretty quick. If you've never used a compass, real straightforward. So, step one, open it up, right? Uh, step two, make sure that it's flat, that the part, the part that has the, the compass bezel on it is flat. You don't want to read your compass like this because you need the compass needle to float freely. So you hold it like this, nice and flat. Now, I'm gonna take a reading. I'm gonna take a reading from where I am right to the camera. How do I do that? First, I kind of square my body towards where I'm gonna go. I hold up the compass, nice and flat, and then I bend the part with the mirror. There's a mirror in here. I bend the part with the mirror towards me. I can see myself in it. Hello, self. But that's not important right now. I bend it further down so I can see the bezel inside the mirror. Now I can do that. I can see the bezel. Now I'm going to point. This works just like a gun sight. There's a little V up here. I'm going to point it right at the camera. So I'm pointing right at, right in the center of the camera. There we go, nice and straight. Everything straight there. Now I turn the bezel until, right like that, until the parallel lines underneath, they're usually like a white. The two white parallel lines are, are running directly underneath the north arrow. Now what do I mean by that? I'll show you in just a second. I turn it so everything is parallel and I feel good. Everything is nice and straight. The lines are parallel with my north arrow. Okay, I bring it down. I can open this up now, as long as I don't touch the bezel and I look at the very top. 78 degrees, it's 78 degrees going that way. That way is 78 degrees. Now, what do I mean by opening this, this up and the bezel walls? The bezel is the part that turns. And just so I can show you guys, I did the equivalent of turning this. It's not going to work until it's flat. I'll trap it like that. There. I did the equivalent of turning this until that's the north arrow right there, right? The, the, red, the, the red arrow part. When it's black down here, that's pointing straight south. But it's the lines underneath in parallel. I turned it so it's, they're just, everything's lined up like that. That's when you know everything is correct. Not like, if it's like that, that's wrong, right? The north arrow's there, your two lines are right there. I notice when, when you're looking at this, you're gonna see there's this other floaty black arrow out there by itself. Don't worry about that one. That one looks important. It's not. That floaty arrow right there, that's for judging slope. And that's something we can do later. That's sort of an advanced class kind of thing. For now, we're just simply getting the degrees north. Now, when I did this, and I got it all correct and everything like that, and I said it was 78 degrees, I believe, that's what I saw was, bing, there were, it was right there, 78 degrees right there. The ticks on a compass are in twos. So I'm one tick away from the 80, it's 78. That's 78 degrees. So that is my first bearing. That's all there is to it. Very straightforward, this compass reading stuff. Now, will you screw up? Sure you will. Some common screw ups. Let's say this wall's made out of metal. Oh, the arrow will like mess up and you'll get an incorrect reading. If anything's made out of metal, stand as far away as you can. I've, I took a reading once standing on some train tracks. It did not work well. So 
that's really how it's done. And then you then you go from there. You take your, your degree reading, you write it down, and then you take the next one over here. Same thing, and then write it down. I hope that helps you out. Tell me in the comments if it doesn't. I can change this all around to help you out as much as you need. Try it out. You'll do fine.